Hello everyone, welcome to another energy YouTube workout. Today, no workout. Today we're just doing a freestyle stretch. So we're just gonna be moving through some flexibility movements, mobility movements. I'm just gonna kind of go with it and try to stretch, you know, full body. But yeah, we're just gonna be working through different movements and trying to lengthen and relieve any tension in our muscles. So I always like starting with a low lunge, putting the knee forward and just kind of moving forward and back, trying to stretch that hip flexor. Just trying to get deep into those hips. You can feel the muscle lengthening, relieving that tightness, any stress that we might be holding in some of these areas. Switching the leg, doing the same thing, just kind of rocking forward and back. If you find a spot that feels really good, you can stay there so where it's a bit tighter, kind of working through whatever is tight for you. You can also bring the arm up if you want to get down the side. Stretching even more to that hip flexor. Breathing deep. Put that hand down so we get more of a stretch. And then switching sides. Let's go back to that other side. Bring the arm up. Getting all down the lat sides into the hip, into the legs. That arm down, get a little bit more of a stretch. Good. Now let's push back into the child's pose. So getting the arms and elbows laying in front, head down, getting those elbows on the floor if you can. Trying to breathe into that upper back and the shoulder blades. Trying to expand our upper back, bringing that air in. Okay, so we're going to feed the one arm through the other arm, thread the needle. Lay on that shoulder. <sighs> Taking deep breaths. We'll switch to the other side. Feed that other arm through. You might notice one side is tighter than the other. Really trying to lean into that shoulder, get it on the floor, get into that outer delt, that lateral delt, posterior delt. Even sometimes rotating the wrists can get even deeper into some of those areas. Coming back through, we're gonna move into the cobra, forward, getting those hip flexors, front, the shoulders, stretching that core, our neck. Breathing deep breaths. I tilt that head to the side. Hold it there, stretch the neck. You can feel those muscles lengthening, relieving, giving. Switch to the other side. Just trying to rest that ear on the shoulder.
Good job. Now we're gonna push back into the downward dog. Trying to get the head between the shoulders. Just feeling it on the backs of the legs too, the calves, the hamstrings, up into the glutes even. Really trying to breathe into those shoulder blades. Expand that upper body. And we're gonna pedal out the calves. So one at a time, pushing, straightening that leg. Getting behind the knee, down the calf, into the ankle. Forward into the pigeon, lay it down. Think of the lean up, working that or stretching that outside of the hip, glute medius. You can lower yourself if you want to get even deeper. Get all the way to the floor. Stretching that inner thigh, outer thigh. <sighs> Breathing through that stretching, feeling those muscles giving. Switching legs, bring it back. Other one in front. So we can be sitting up first allowing our muscles to stretch a bit before we stretch them further as we lower down. From lowering to the elbows, holding that there, that glute medius. If it feels good, you can also do a little bit of movement, so a little rotation. Rotate the other way. We want the feeling to be relieving, not painful. Okay, now we're gonna bring our leg out front, getting all underneath. Oh, getting in those calves, hamstrings, up to our glutes, into our back, into our shoulder. You can see how everything is connected. And you can have tightness, on one side of your body that can cause compensation in another side of your body. So make sure you stretch everything, but if it feels good, really good, spend more time there. Just working through this, you can rotate the hip, getting the inner thigh a bit more Outer glute. Now we're going to switch. The other one up front. Same thing. Getting those calves all the way up that backside. Go forward. Backward. Getting behind the knee. Rotate at the hip. Nice. It's such an addictive pain. <laughs> I hope you know what I mean. It's, it hurts so good. It's, and once you get going, it's hard to stop. But sometimes it can be hard to get ourselves going. Oh. Stretching is something you can do in front of the TV, listening to podcasts, listening to music. It can be rather enjoyable. You just have to prioritize it. Oh, good. Okay, 
Next, we're going to stack our knees at two 90 degree angles. So knee here, knee here, both 90 degrees. And we're just going to try to work through our hips. So just bending over a little bit, going side to side. Feeling it mostly in that hip joint right there. Just trying to get in those inner thighs, in the hips, and then up and down. Whatever movements feel really good, keep doing those. Keep go off to the side a little bit. Get deeper. Try to bring it back. Ooh, that's where it gets really tight. Nice. Getting even lower. Oh, yeah, that feels good. Okay, we're gonna switch. Same thing. So stack them both 90 degrees again. Now we're going down. Working through, feeling those hips, feeling those tendons, those ligaments. Tendons, ligaments have less blood flow, so they can be harder to stretch, harder to get into. Get back nice and low. Oh, getting those sweet spots. Oh, keep working. I know it feels good for you, too. Oh, okay. Next. Do a straight out leg stretch. Reach for those feet. <sighs> Try to breathe into that upper back. <sighs> Expand those shoulder blades apart. Deep breath in. Stretch. <sighs> Deep breath out. Let that neck hang. You should feel that down back, down those erectors, in between those shoulder blades, and get warm. Good, now let's do a little rotation, just rotate back. chest out. Breathing into that chest, trying to pull the shoulders back. Now let's tilt the head and just let it sit. And switch. Breathe. Good. Now let's go across the body. Stretch that shoulder. Pushing our arms into each other, trying to get even deeper in that shoulder, in those rotator cuff muscles. Breathing into that shoulder blade, trying to stretch. And switch. 
switch across. Moving the neck if that feels good. Really trying to get in that lateral front delt. Next, let's go above the head. Reaching that arm back as far as you can down your back. Trying to get between those shoulder blades. Pushing on that elbow, stretching the triceps. Getting all in that lat. The lats can internally rotate us meaning that they round our shoulders if they are overdeveloped in comparison to our posterior rotating muscles, like our rhomboids, our um, traps, our erectors, our posterior delts that can help fix those rounded shoulders. So make sure that you keep working on those muscles that I just mentioned, especially those posterior delts. Reaching down that back. Stretch those triceps. Breathe in that shoulder blade. Good. Let's reach behind the back. Let's push our hands into our glutes, pushing our chest out. You should feel that all across your pecs, the fronts of your shoulders. Breathe, get that air in there. Next, now stretch it forward. Pull those shoulder blades apart. Let's just do one more lean. Stretch over. Breathe, let gravity do the work. And switch to the other side. here feels really good like I said if you feel good spend more time there that is it for this little stretch hope you feel looser calmer better after that make sure to check out some of my other YouTube videos workouts stretch warm-ups you name it plenty more to come thank you again for joining me Gymshark is always rocking my Halloween realness right now but hope you have a great rest of your day see you later